All right, folks, I'm going to read you a portion of an article that is entitled U.S. Labor Productivity Suffers Biggest Crash Ever Recorded, Labor Costs Soar Most Since 1982, and I would argue that it's probably worse than that. Uh, But this one is bad, and of course, we can thank uh, the evil people that continue to work with the evil president of the United States and his whole regime for hating our country so much that they're doing everything that they can to absolutely destroy it. Now, this fits within the narrative of what we know is going to be happening in the last days, but this is absolutely terrible, right? Let me read a portion of this. It says, productivity crashed over the past year as the economy added workers at a rapid clip, uh, even as economic output grew slowly. Data from the Department of Labor showed this on Tuesday. The productivity of the business sector fell 2.5% compared with a year ago, the largest decline ever recorded in data going back to the first quarter of 1948. This comes from the U.S. Labor Statistics uh, of the, the, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and the decline comes from a 1.5 increase in economic output and a 4.1% increase in total hours worked. Okay, that's bad. Okay, because what that means basically is that we are having record numbers of inflation or record uh, numbers that reflect the highest inflation we've ever seen and a lot of crazy things that are coming as a result of this. Let me read this. It says the decline in productivity came from the services sector, which is still rebounding from the pandemic. Yeah, sure. Just the pandemic. What about the rebound from the ugliness of this regime? But we'll just leave that be. It goes on to say manufacturing sector labor productivity increased 5.5% in the second quarter of 2022 with a 4.3% increase in output and a 1.1% decline in hours worked. In the durable manufacturing sector, which produces goods meant to last three years or more, productivity increased 6.1% with a 6% increase in output and a, ready for this, 0.1% increase in hours worked. Non-durable manufacturing sector productivity increased 5.4% and uh, the output increased 2.6% and it goes on and on and on. What this is basically telling us, and this is an absolutely terrible picture, is that the demand is increasing momentarily as inflation is climbing and the amount of people able to take care of the need is actually dropping, which means the productivity numbers are dropping at rates that are so extreme that we are going to see inflation taking place at rates we have never witnessed before ever. And by the way, that's after all of the inflation that we've seen before. Now, I seem to remember in the book of Revelation that we're going to get to a point where for a day's wage, you are going to pay that for a loaf of bread. And I think it's going to get worse than that. The times are getting worse. Things are getting harder, but this is the world that we're living in, folks. I'm going to just simply say this, and I know that it's going to make some people mad, but I think based on what we do not see in the Bible, that the United States of America becomes inconsequential in Bible prophecy. If it was consequential, we would read about it in the Bible. The Bible is silent about it. Now, my prayer has always been that there would be such a spiritual awakening in the United States of America that so many people would get raptured at the time of the rapture that the inconsequentiality of the United States actually exists as a result of an absenteeism, for lack of a better term. But unfortunately, it looks like the inconsequentiality that we see is happening is taking place because of a regime that hates our country and continues to do destructive things. Now, in the meantime, what do we do as Christians? We pray. We preach the gospel and we fight the good fight. We do it in local government. We do it in municipal government. We do it in our school boards. We do it everywhere that we can, including the polls, because God has told us to take a stand. Not because we think we can make a change, but because we're commanded to. It's time to get in there and fight the good fight and look to the Lord while we're doing it. Hopefully, you guys, we are going to do this with a whole heart, knowing that God commands us to do it, and great things are coming because Jesus is coming soon. God bless you guys.